And I said, as I'm live, we're going to wait for some people to get in here. If it buffers this time, then I'm just going to wait till tomorrow or something to finish this haul. We shall see. I don't know. That little 12-second video, I can't even delete it. I don't know why, because YouTube's tripping for real, but it took me forever. To... <coughs> <coughs> so I, I'm hoping it's not buffering. But we shall see. So I'm going to give some people some time to get in here. I had everybody interested. I had like 11 people at one point. That was a lot. Then it buffered. How could I grow my audience, YouTube, if you're going to buffer all the freaking time? Ah! Uh, I even tried to use the old way that I used to do my lives, which was with the OBS software. That wouldn't even load. or That was messing up, too. So it wouldn't connect to the YouTube because YouTube is freaking lagging and buffering. So now I'm back with the YouTube camera. Give me some people some time to trust it and come back in here. Hopefully they have, they can trust it soon or I just start opening stuff up. It looks like it's doing okay so far. And we're one minute in. So, hey, let me go on and get this started so people will come once they see it's been up more than 12 freaking seconds. That last one I talked more than 12 seconds, but I, it was only 12 seconds because it kept stopping, stopping, stopping. But this one, I think they must have fixed whatever their issue was. YouTube's been having issues lately. Uh, I know they went down last week, one day, for, a, for what, about an hour or so, and not, if not longer. <coughs> oh, and rest in peace to the people. I saw an alert on my phone, which I did not look it up or keep up with it because I don't even want to see the depressed stuff. I probably watch it later when I get off here. But something happened in Pittsburgh at a synagogue. 11 people dead and four injured or something like that. It's crazy. People just shooting up people everywhere. I'm sick of hearing these stories. I'm sick of people doing that stuff to people. You're just killing innocent people that don't got nothing to do with the government. They ain't got nothing to do with the politics. They ain't got no. Okay, they want their religion, freedom of religion. Let them have their religion. Let let you have your religion. Let you have no religion if you have none. But why you got to kill somebody? It's just dumb. But anyway, yeah, rest in peace to those souls and maybe the families be comforted. Comforted. During these times and whatever, as I knew in my previous video, yeah, I know in my other videos, I'm sick. I got, and I went to the doctor, I got bronchitis. So but I'm still trying to get this haul. So let's get to the rest of the portion of the haul. And I got these little boots for uh, baby Zane. I don't think I've shown y'all this bag. I can't quite remember. Let me see. Here's a receipt. Let me look at the date on this receipt 10 14. Huh, maybe I have. It's 10 14. Was that last week? I mean, it could have been like Monday. It was 10 14 like Monday of last? Not this week, but the week before? I don't know. I didn't think I showed y'all these. So I'm going to show them again if I have. But I didn't think I showed this to y'all. <coughs> but I got these little cute little Carters. Uh, no, Circo. That's the brand Circo. Circo. Today. He's walking now. I told y'all that in the previous video. He can walk, so he'll be walking that little snow and in the snow boots. Little tinkin' butt. Tinkin' tink. He's the one that got me sick because he had a cold. Then I got a cold. Then my cold just got worse because my gelinia, my medicine I take every day for my MS, it weakens my white blood cell counter. Sometimes it weakens my immune system. I knew better than to be around him when he was sick. I knew better, but I'm hard headed. I'm, I've only been taking that MS medicine for a couple of years, like a year and a half. So, but I know that I, I get sick from them last year, so I knew better. I thought these were still so cute little wedges, Jessica Simpson wedges. I think I got these for myself because I think these are my size. No, they're not my size. They're eight and a half, so I got them to sell because they were not worn at all. That's what it was. They were, this one looks worn, but they, yeah, they were like basically like new. So that's why I got these to sell. They probably sell at least for like 15, 20. They're very cute. It's navy, navy blue and I guess cream or tan, whatever you want to call it. Cute, cute little sandals. And I got, and all these shoes were three ninety nine, three ninety nine. These cute little Heelys. I don't know if people still do Heelys, but I saw them and I hadn't seen them in the way. I'm like, oh, I probably said these for like 15 bucks. Little kids, little, he little cute little Heelys. And they're not the fake ones, they're the actual Heelys. So if people still wear them, I probably could sell them for more today. I got to clean them up real good, though. Maybe I'll get about 20 bucks for them. Just some little, little cute Heelys with the little skates on the bottom. 
And I uh, welcome one person. It seems to have stopped lagging. So we might be in good shape now. I don't know what kind of problem you two had at the moment, but we might be in good shape to finish this haul up. And I welcome you. Make sure you thumbs up the video. Hey, Misha. The previous one, that was fighting to get back on her. I did the first half of this in the previous video. You have to go back and watch. I had some good shoes and purses. These little shoes are E.T. Nagner. That's why I got them, because I know me and E.T. Nagner. These are like a maroon color. Got the little tassels on them. And very good soles. Very good. That'll be on my posh part, too. Um, and these are size. Are you still sick? Seven and a half. So these are size seven and a half. <coughs> See, back in the thrift store, I usually get it for my store or for myself. But it usually doesn't sell on my store. I don't know why people don't. I don't know. I just have a love for it. I have some few purses, E.T. Magna purses, vintage on my store. Then we got these little shoes. These are cute. Little patent leather BCBG uh, girls. Cute little boots. What do you call these booties? Aren't these some cute booties? Very cute booties in very good condition. Patent leather BCBG girls. And these are size 8. So these are size 8B. Oh, and Misha, like I told them in my previous video, I did finally have to go. I went on to the doctor yesterday because my head was pounding so much. Like right here, my whole body started hurting. I was like, okay, I need to go to the doctor because I must have an infection. This must be building up an infection because I couldn't stop blowing my nose. It was just constantly, I needed to blow my nose. More snot coming down, more snot. And then cough, 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 cough. I said, okay, I'm going. Just sharing winds, I'm going. So I went and they, I had bronchitis. Well, I have bronchitis. So they gave me and some Z pack or some antibiotics. And I took two, to take two of the antibiotics the first day, which was yesterday. And then that pain and all that, and my body hurt, and that went right away when I took two of them antibiotics. So it was some kind of infection set up. So hey, sometimes you got to take people's advice and break it on down and go to the doctor. Uh, Martha said she went to the doctor too. She went on and went, but she said her she just had a virus. They didn't give her anything for it. They told her it was a virus. But I did. I do have bronchitis. You said you have some shoes like that, like the one, or like those patent leather ones, those booties. Oh, so you said, "Oh my God, yes." So you did go to the to the doctor. Good. Yeah, I still sound a little bad, but I sound better because I'm not as bad as I was. I got to take uh, that syrup again before I'm about to go. We can probably call it a night pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, my God. I think everybody's scared because it was a lot of people in here, but then YouTube started buffering and lagging. I had like 11, 12 people in there, and, and it just started locking up and lagging. I said, wow, I get a good crowd in my lab, and then you do this. And, that. and then I came back, and it, it did the same thing. So I waited. I tried for a while, tried different things, and I waited for about 30 minutes and came back to finish it. And now you're the only one in here. But it doesn't matter. Where one is here, that's good enough. People eventually try to start buffering again, and hopefully it won't. But I got these um, little, just some cute little flip-flops, and they're like memory foam. And they're New Balance. I think they were my size. I think that's why I got these. Nine. Yeah, well, they're nine. I wear nine and a half, ten. So I'm hoping I can wear these, fit these, because they're memory foam. I'm like, how comfortable are these little uh, shoes? New Balance memory foam. Um, and they're cute. And they're also cute. And I'm hoping to be able to fit them. I'm sure if they size nine, I should be able to fit these and wear these in Jamaica. Then I got these little shoes. Say made in Spain. I don't know if I've shown this stuff before. I don't think I have. But if I have, I'm sorry. But I don't think I've shown this stuff because I had everything I hadn't shown by my by the door in that room. These are some patent leather coop dead it tight. It tight and tight. Uh shoes. Just patent leather made in Spain. Uh man-made sole, leather upper, and their size. I think it says seven, seven M. So they're size seven M. Yeah, I don't know if I can see that because it's like an invisible size. There it is down there. 
there at 7 a.m. Yeah, they're just a little simple, basic shoes. They'd be cute as witch shoes on Halloween. <laughs> if I get them up in time, now it's already 27. You wouldn't get them. They wouldn't even come in the mail by Halloween. But, I mean, there's some cute little shoes. Basic, simple. See the up close and personal. Offer, but a loafer with a heel, size 7B. Be on my posh mark. Yeah, I don't think I've shown this stuff before. But I think this stuff was in my car. And then I got these. Mark Joseph. I just thought they were some cute little flip-flops. Look at that, because I love, love this flower right here. Love that. Yeah, the little gold on that um, black patent leather shoe. Yep, I think it's cute too. And then this, I really love this flower. I was hoping these were in my size, but they're not. They're seven and a half. Well, you see that? Upside down. Seven and a half. But just some cute little, and they're very comfortable too. Mark Joseph, New York. Yeah, my posh. And these I got just because the signature design. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> yeah, it's a lag. But I thought these, I'm like, it kind of reminded me of Fendi. But it's going okay. But I uh, did something that I do it yesterday, last night. I think I did it last night where I put it on vacation mode because I did not want to have to ship nothing out today because I usually try to ship my stuff immediately. And I don't like it to wait because you have up to three days to ship it. I don't like to wait that long. I like to do it like either the next day or the same day. So just so nobody would buy anything today, which I probably would have had a lot of sales today. And so nobody else would ask me any questions because they were asking me all kind of questions about measurements and sizes, measure, measure, measure. Does it have this? I said, I don't feel like answering nobody's questions right now. My head was hurting so bad yesterday and I couldn't think. So I just put it on vacation mode. I'm going to cut it back on tomorrow when I can go measure this stuff for these people and think about it. Cause I didn't want to think. I said I'm not thinking. I don't want to talk because most people that ask you for measurements and stuff don't even buy the stuff. Then they make you take pictures, make you do all that extra, and they don't even end up buying the stuff anyway. They just do that to I think irritate people sometimes. So we'll see out of the three, four people that are asking me stuff about these items, which that never happens. But I'm sick. Three or four people asking stuff about it. It happens maybe once a week. One person might ask measurements, but okay then. Thursday and Friday, three or four people that asked me some stuff about some measurements and some nicks and ask questions. I'm like, okay, I'm not dealing with this today because I don't went through the streams for people. Oh, can you take a picture this way? Can you take a picture that way? Can you do this? And then they don't bad. I think some people just like to irritate you. One girl ended up bad at this saying, oh, it was not as described. I'm like, how the heck is it not as described when you maybe take 20,000 pictures, take show you everything, measure, and you're going to say not as described? Well, that's not what I meant, but that's what you said in your rating. Boy, 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 you can have some issues on Posh before. Just dumb. It, but it wasn't as big as I thought. I'm like, how was it as big as I, you thought when you told me to put textbooks in it? I did that, told you how many textbooks it would fit, showed you in the picture how many textbooks. Crazy. It was crazy. I ain't going to lose my voice talking about that little child. You know, my nerves on Posh Mark. But yeah, this, see, these like uh, Fendi design, I thought they were cute. And they're nine and a half, so they are my size. So if they don't sell on um, Posh, I will rock these and clients. Because just they, I think they're just cute with that signature AK on them. Just cute. Nine and a half. And they'll be out my Posh. Welcome, second person. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Then I got some Ann Taylor. Some cute little Ann Taylor. Cute little sandals. I guess you can call these. There's some cute little heels, patent leather. And these are size, let's see, six and a half. Yep, six and a half medium and Taylor Loft. And they're, are they navy blue or are they black? They look black to me. I told you they look like, they do look like Finney, so they would throw people off that they got clothes. That's why I think they're like really cute. It just made them extra cute, so I think they will sell. I think these will, I think these will sell. Hey, Elizabeth Grant. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm finishing off the haul from the previous video because YouTube started buffering and lagging. 
Then I got these little comfort comfort shoes. These are called Wokey. No, yeah, Wokeys. Wokeys. Yeah, I've heard of those. Wokey. And I guess that's a seven. Is I say seven? Thirty-seven European size. Thirty-seven made in Mexico. And they're just some little cute. I don't know what you would call this. It feels nice though. Just some little simple, comfortable shoes for somebody to buy. Um, probably selling for like 15 bucks on my Poshmark. I did look these up. These are like $69, something like it. But I got to figure out some. So I kind of bought these for a test since I only paid $3.99 for them. And, and, but I got to figure out this. See, it was another pair of shoes kind of like these that they did this to. Y'all see? Can y'all tell? I guess the person that uh, turned them in had one leg longer than the other. What do you call that? A club foot? Or something, so they glued an extension so on this one. So I want to see. I just kind of bought these as a test to see if I can remove the glue and what it would look like after. If they look terrible after I remove the glue, I'll just throw them away. But I bought them. They were three ninety nine. So why? I just want to see because I need to know things like that. If I can remove glue, for I might run into some what some super nice shoes. Some daggone Gucci shoes to have this done to them, then I won't know how to do it. But hey, I'm going to try it and we'll see. It'll be on my video, my fixer upper video. This will, that Fendi purse, where I'm going to add leather to the strap and some other stuff I got to fix up. A Dooney and Burke I got to fix up a little bit. So yeah, I'm gonna have, I got about a full video worth of fixer upper stuff from the Goodwill just to let people see how they can buy stuff cheap or whatever at the Goodwill and fix it up and still make it look good. <coughs> so all right we got another bag over here and this is clothes do i want to go to the clothes or do i want to do i have a little bit of wallet but that's clothes and stuff accessories so i'm going to go to these these are jackets so these are the jackets i thrifted now did i get these this bag i got like Tuesday. Let me look in here. There's a receipt in here. But I think I got this stuff Tuesday. Uh, 23rd. 23rd is Tuesday. Because that's the last day I thrifted this week since I've been sick. But. No, uh -huh, great. Idea. I'm trying to get some good ideas. This little jacket is cabbie. And a, a lot of thrifters, a lot of resellers, this resell on Poshmark say to get cabbie. Oh, my Poshmark is at Lala B42. That's my Poshmark closet. Right now, it's not for sale because I put it in vacation mode because I'm sick, but I'm going to cut it back on stuff back for sale tomorrow or maybe tonight because uh, I won't be able to ship it to Monday anyway. But yeah, Cabby is a brand that they say you should buy. If you see Cabby, bad because it sells and it sells quick. I found one cabby shirt, and then this is my second cabby fan because I never really looked forward to it. I started watching other thrifters, and they were saying to get cabby. And it's a cute little jacket, especially for fall, plum color, like pea coat almost, like a crop pea coat candle. That's the back. Um, and that's the front with the buttons and stuff. And it's a size medium, as you saw when I showed the brand. So, size medium cabby. And it's made like a jog, jogger material, jogging pants, so cotton. And that was, since I got that Tuesday, then that means I paid $6.29 for that. I paid the full price for that, which jackets are $6.29. So I'm going to have to try to sell that for at least enough to get make that back. $6. I paid $6.29 for that little jacket. I usually don't pay that. Then I paid $6.29 for this. But no, this ain't a jacket. This is a dress. How cute is this dress? I think I bought this for myself, but if it don't fit me, I'm going to sell it. But I'm sure it will since I lost 20 pounds from being depressed and then from being sick. It's a size medium. It's Ann Taylor Loft. I just thought it was adorable. I'm sure this is not real leather. I don't think it doesn't feel like it's real leather, but I just thought this was a cute dress. Look at this dress. Let me actually look at the material uh, made in Indonesia, Ann Taylor Loft. Try to find the material tag. Like, and then this is like a fleece fleece material and then you got the uh same pleather as the pockets and let me see here we go it says shell exterior is 60 percent cotton 37 percent polyester 
I don't, I don't I guess it's polyester, but I would think it would be like PVC or something. That's what it says. 69%, I think is what that says, and 31% polyester. So 69% cotton and 31% polyester, but I wouldn't think this is polyester, but I guess if that's what it says it is, then I just thought it was a really cute, uh, that plum color. Yeah, I see you got plum in your profile picture. It must be your color, purple and plum, but yeah, I just, I just thought this was a really cute dress. Put you some good knee boots on. It's, it kind of reminds me like of Star Trek or something like that, but I just thought it was cute. That's the back of it, back of the dress. So I did buy this for myself. I may try to sell it on Poshmark because it would be a great, cute sale. But I really want to buy this. I bought this for myself. Put some nice little knee boots on with this and just be cute. You can even wear booties with this with some tights or something. And it feels so comfortable just by touching it. It feels so comfortable. So I know it would feel so comfortable. Um, and that dress, I think, uh, I'm trying to remember, was Green Tag half off this week? I think green tag was half off, so I think I got that for two dollars and something, two sixty or whatever. Let me see. Here's a receipt. Dress is two sixty five. Yeah, so green tag was half off this week. Yeah, that cabbie jacket. Oh, was that cabbie jacket green tag? Maybe that's no, that's orange. Was orange tag half? Off? Maybe it was orange tag that was half off. Now that I'm looking at this stuff, I think it was orange tag. That was half off this week. Yeah, because so, that jacket, jacket's supposed to be 629. Okay, I'm trying to find the jacket. I don't think jackets are 529, but maybe they are. Let me see, sweater. Dress, 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 dress. I don't know. Now there's no, that that jacket was not 629 then. That means I, since orange was half off, that means I paid like $3 or something for that jacket, the cabby jacket. But this dress, I probably paid full price for because I thought it was cute. Then this dress right here, Calvin Klein, cute little spring summer dress. And it was just very cute, so I couldn't turn it down for them. I mean, it's just $2.65, and it's in like new condition. That's the, that's the front. Yeah, and this is the back. It has a V in the back. Cute, cute, cute to wear to somebody's wedding, to wear to church, to wherever. And it's Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein is a size four. This will be on my Poshmark. Welcome other people, two other people, the four people in here watching. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Make sure you have thumbs up and feel free to chat with me. Calvin Klein, size four. And it's just really, really cute. If it fit me, I would probably keep it for myself. But for two dollars and sixty-five cent, why not? And then I got this one, and y'all know I got this one for myself. Y'all know I got it. It's not because the step. I like the colors and stuff. It's really springy, spring, summer. So I will have to wait to like the spring and the summer, unless I put like a navy blue blazer on with this, then I could wear it in the fall. So hey, put me a good old navy blue blazer on, some and I could wear it in the winter if I put some navy blue tights on. Yeah, it is nice for spring. And this is a Lauren by Ralph Lauren dress, size medium. I just thought it was a cute little dress, and it has a little belt attached, a string belt attached, and it has the little pleats and stuff. So I probably won't be able to wear it to the spring unless I find me a navy blue blazer and some navy blue tights and rock it in the winter or the fall. But I think I'm gonna wait till spring for this, or I can wear it in Jamaica since I'm going next month. That's, I think that's what I was thinking when I bought it, but it's more churchy, churchy. Or uh, I'm probably going to go to church while I'm there, so I might take it as a church dress. I'll find the church somewhere. And then we got this is a, I guess, cardigan, short sleeve cardigan. Yeah, it's roll, it like rolls, and this was half off too, so this was. 265 because they count it as a sweater kind of jacket. And this brand is Gap and it's an extra small, but this will fit me. It will fit medium, probably even fit a large because I think it's an oversized, an oversized for an extra small. But I know this thing will fit me and it feels like it's the most comfortable 
thing in the world. I don't know if it's just cotton or what this is, but it feels so comfortable just by the touch. 90% cotton, 10% wool, which me and wool don't get along because I'm allergic. But this is not making me itch. I thought it was making me itch when I bought it, though. I'm probably I'm going to have to sell this because I'm not going to take a chance. I can wear cashmere, but I can't wear wool. Me and the baby lambs are cool, I guess. Me and the big lambs are not cool. Oh, one's a goat and one's a lamb. I don't know. I can't remember. As a buyer, I bought this for myself. Half off. So this was two dollars. Um, just because the flower. If y'all know me, y'all know I love flowers, and I thought that was so cute. So 50-ish. So 50s. And I thought it was cute. So I got it for myself. And this is size um medium. You said you got a billion pairs of tights. I don't have that many tights. I really have maybe one or two pair black, and I have a green pair. I think I have a dark gray pair, but I'm going to have to buy some more tights because, I, yeah, I convert spring outfits and uh, summer outfits into winter fall with tights. And that's so all you need, some tights and some cute boots. Shoot. And a cute uh, blazer or cardigan. You can convert a uh, summer dress, winter dress. These are cute little. I just thought these was cute. Kind of Chanel, fake. Chanel looking just really cute uh, shoes, Chinese laundry. And yeah, they got the, somebody put the little sole things on them already, heel thing, whatever you. <coughs> and I just thought they were cute. So they'll be on my posh, $3.99 and uh, seven and a half Chinese laundry. And the size is seven and a half medium. So yeah, and these are like really cute. Looking like somebody from Legally Blonde or something. I just thought they were adorable. If they fit me, I would have kept them. And you don't have to wait till spring to wear those. You can wear those in the wintertime. You'd be cute. Because those are really warm shoes. Just that little peep toe. Which I know y'all wear tights with your peep toe shoes. Welcome all the other people that's in here. Welcome, welcome. See, we got five people in here. We got two people talking, but I'm talking to y'all. We got these gloves. Nice little leather gloves. They'll be on my Poshmark, and they feel so nice and soft. Just a nice, soft leather. leather. And these are size, it says size eight. Size eight, and they're Preston and York. <coughs> Just a nice... A soft leather size eight pressed in New York. So these would fit me. I guess eight is like the finger ring size, I guess. I don't know. But this this feels so good. So these will be out my posh. But I look up Preston New York and see how much their gloves go for. Either if it don't go for much, I'll probably give them to somebody. But if they do, if I think I can resell them, they'll be on my posh mark. Okay, and then I got this scarf. <clears throat> yeah, open toes on him. Got this uh, scarf. Look at that, almost Jamaica. Got you just got the green and the yellow, but it got other colors too. But it's kind of Jamaica-ish. I'm most. I'm so happy I got my plane tickets. I got my plane tickets. I cannot wait. Next month I'll be in Jamaica for nine, ten days, something like that. I need that vacation so bad, so bad. I need to relax and just clear my mind of the past couple of months. And this, I looked this thing up. People are selling this from ranging prices. Like Etsy, people are selling them cheap. But then on other sites, people are selling these for like hundreds. It's uh, Beyond Chini Farrier Paris. Like, I don't know who that is, but yeah, Beyond Chini. Farrier Paris, and I had looked this up. Some people were selling for three hundred forty-five dollars, a hundred something dollars, five hundred. Like, what is this brand, and why is it so expensive? But then you'll see some people selling them on Etsy for like fourteen dollars and fifty. Oh, I just got confused. I don't understand how people make different, so many different prices for stuff. So I don't know what this brand is really worth or what if it's. I think I think it said vintage. I was trying to find this style. But I'm yeah, I'm gonna try to resell it and see what happens. 
<coughs> so it will be out my five part. And this one was the same. When I tried to look this brand up in the scarves, it was the same. The same. Etsy was always cheaper, but the Etsy stuff was not vintage, I don't think. I don't know what why Etsy was so cheap. So, I mean, it was still like $14.15. So if I pay $1.79 and sell it for $14.15, then what's the difference? That's not that bad. Still make a profit. And then that's Manolo Bor Romeo. I had never heard of Manolo Bor Romeo. I heard Manolo Blanc, the shoes. But, yeah, this is Manolo Bor Romeo. And it's just a scarf with, like, a swirly design and puzzle-like design, I guess. It would make a cute skirt if it was a skirt. That would be cute as a skirt. Just imagine that as, as a skirt with a navy blue top. That would be cute. That Or a cream top. That would be cute as a skirt. <coughs> if somebody was that small to wear it as a skirt. And then I got this little tie. Just a little chaps tie. I think I got that from my nephew, J3. Yeah, that's why I got these little ties. I got it for him. I got to remember because he's over today to give them to him to give to his mama. Got him a couple of tasks. He's uh nine. He just turned nine in August. So, uh, he's to, his tasks to, uh, to church or to whatever he got to go to any events at school. And I got these. I saw these and I fell in love for myself. These are mine. I'm not sharing. I'm not selling these. These are mine. These are mine. But look at these. How cute are these? I gotta give y'all the full effect of the tan and the black. It's just the studs. I like it. Reminded me of Louboutin, Louboutins, and also reminded me of uh, Hermes bracelets, Hermes. I guess not Hermes, Hermes bracelets and stuff with the studs. I was like, oh, this is so cute. These are so cute. So yeah, and these are my size, which is a ten, not a nine and a half. I wear ten and a half nine. Nine and a half ten is what I wear, but yeah, I was like, oh my gosh, these are the cutest. I snatched these up so quick. Snatched them up so quick, y'all. I just thought they were adorable. Gladiator kind of style, I guess you call them. But yeah, BCBG generation. I will be rocking those in Jamaica. Yeah, I like this bag. Got a nice old Bengals, Cincinnati Bengals hat. Uh from for my brother or his son. They Bengals fans. My son says he is. We don't watch no game. But Cincinnati Bengals, that's the closest pro team we have to us in Kentucky. So because Louisville has not gotten one and Lexington definitely ain't. But it's a cute little fitted hat. I don't know if it's gonna fit my brother's big head though. We'll find out. If not, then I have to go to his son. He got big head too, so I don't know if it'll fit his head. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Oh, about those sandals, yeah. This little wallet, I don't know if I'm gonna resell that or just give it to somebody. I just thought it was cute with a bling dap guest wallet, and then it has like the signature, like G's or whatever, or does it just say guess all over it? Let me see. I think it's G's. Yes, the G's. So kind of almost like Gucci. It tries to help. It's trying to be entangled. Jeez. So, yeah. It's just a cute little wallet. <coughs> and then this Calvin Klein wallet, which would go good with the Calvin Klein tote and shoes that are that got in the previous that were black and gold in my previous part of this haul. Go back and look, and that would go good with the coat. With that, with that, even though it's black and silver, that was those were black and gold. But it's just going to be inside the toes, so why not? Somebody who loves Calvin Klein will probably buy all of the stuff, and it's in great condition, awesome condition. So this will be on my Poshmark, and this leather, nice, and this leather really feels good too. Really feels good. I don't even have to look at it to see if it's leather. Got a little pocket in the back as well, and plenty of pockets and card slots on the inside. Both sides, so it, and then it has the zip pocket in the middle too. So yeah, this is in awesome freaking condition. Calvin Klein, be on my posh. Then I got these hats. Look at these Kango style hats. How cute! This is rabbit fur, and I have a scarf 
and is it some mittens? I know I have a scarf or something else in this rabbit fur kind of in the same color that I got from the Goodwill. I haven't put up. <coughs> I haven't put it up yet. About time for me to take my cough medicine. Um, 35% rabbit hair, 25% polyester, 25% acrylic, 13% nylon, 2% wool. But this will be on my posh. It's a cute little winter hat. And this I thought was adorable as well. Cute little winter hat. Um, and this is... Uh, what does it say? It says shell is 56% wool, 38% polyester, 6% other fibers. Lining is 100% polyester. Man-made material, trim. So yeah, the, the trim is not leather. That's man-made material, but it looks like good leather. So vegan leather is what you call that for the trim. But yeah, so that got those two hats. And hats are like a dollar ninety-nine, something like that. So every hat I got is like dollar ninety-nine. Of course, I had to represent when I saw this. I had to snatch this up. Kentucky hat, good old Kentucky hat. Can't have too many nice Kentucky hats, and it's fitted. So hopefully it fits my head. I'm hoping it'll fit my head. Oh, it stretches too, so that's good. Good, stretchy, fitted. Kentucky hat, top of the world. That's the toecaps.com. <coughs> top of the world, toecaps.com is the brand of the head. So, yeah, I will be rocking that probably in Jamaica, like representing Kentucky. Not going to represent too much because you don't want to stand out too much. I might just wear it on a plane ride there or when I'm leaving Jamaica. One of the two. I don't want to be too obvious because I try not to look too touristy. Try my best to try to blend in because I like to go where the people go, where the regular locals are and stuff. But I will be on them good beaches. And they got this little cute little hat for baby Tinkle. But I think I have so many cute little hats from the Goodwill. Um, but I gotta make sure I wash them and you know dry them and stuff. But he loves his, he loves putting hats on. You put a hat on him, he'll keep it on. Ever since he was little, little, when he was like maybe six months, five months, I put a little outfit on him with a hat and he kept that hat on the whole day. Now he's one and walking around and stuff. But yeah, this cute little hat, a little tink butts. And that was my nice thing because baby stuff is my nice, nice. baby and kids. Then we got this. I said, I guess I'll take this as a fixer upper, but I don't think I was charged full price because of the because the person had the tad on this side is correct. This how it's supposed to be, but the stitching broke on this end. So I'm like, okay, I can restitch that. So this will be part of the fixer upper video as well. But I was like, do I do I need have to pay a regular price for this? I said it's a really cute bag, but it's broke. I'm gonna have to fix it. <coughs> so I think I got a discount because it was broken. So I don't think I paid three ninety nine for it. And it's American Eagle Outfitters, but I just thought it's a really cute, really cute uh, hobo style backpack bag, whatever you want to call it. It's like a backpack kind of, yeah, backpack type thing. I just thought it was cute. And it's drawstring. Like it draws in. So it's drawstring. And I just thought it was cute. Black and tan. So that'll be on my pod. But at first, it's going to be in my fixer up for video. Yeah, get you some 99 cent stuff, uh, Misha. I don't think I'm going tomorrow. I'm dropping my son off church, and I'm coming right back home. I'm still trying to get myself all the way better because I got to work next week. I can't be taking no sick days next week. I don't like taking sick days. And then got this bag. I'm going to have to get some suede cleaner, clean it up, though. So this will be part of that fixer up a video as well because it needs to be clean to see the bottoms kind of. Can't really tell how dingy it is, but it's, yeah, it's kind of dingy. See the corners? But it's a suede and very nice. And it's Eddie Bauer. And it's a nice bag. And the handles. Let me show y'all the handles. It's a very nice bag. And I guess you would call it, I don't know, shoulder bag, whatever you want to call it. And get clean it on the inside. Um, clean it on the inside. 
and, and had this. And I told him, I said, he got a necklace or something on the inside. I guess this is supposed to be a necklace. I don't know what this is. Handmade now. I don't know. I assume it's like a statement necklace or something. I don't know. But then he was like, well, it's on the inside. And it was on the inside because that's where it was in the bag. I guess who owned this bag. He, like, he didn't charge me for it. Like, it's, that's not separate. Like, yeah, they don't, they don't have a price tag on it. So that was three ninety nine, And then look what I got. I got a mouse. Since y'all know I broke my mouse pad on my computer with one of the, I had a slow out my slushy. It was the frosted water was running down the cup and got inside my computer mouse pad. So yeah, I have to use my numbers over here to like enter and do stuff with, that the mouse would do. But now I have a regular old USB mouse that I can use that I got from the Goodwill, 99 cent. But I needed it. So, yeah. And I got me a cute little apron that I just thought was adorable because I'm going to start cooking again for y'all. I'm going to do some more cooking videos for y'all. I don't know when, but I know I'm going to probably make my chili. I don't think I have any videos on my chili, so I will make that for y'all. But, yeah, $1.99 is how much it was. It's the price tag that just fell off of it. But uh, I don't know if y'all can see that. $1.99. Uh, yeah, probably be cooking and doing all that when I come back from Jamaica. Maybe because I might be. I'm planning. I'm hoping I'm in good spirit when I come back from Jamaica. So I'm hoping that Jamaica is just a relaxing vacation, relief, have fun, be adored by all these nice, fine chocolate men in Jamaica, <laughs> and just have a good, nice time dancing and just having fun. Cause I really need that right now. I just really need to have fun and be adored and just. Whatever, just just to let go of things. I had another wallet I want y'all to see. I think it's in this bag down here. Uh, because I don't think I've shown it yet. Okay, that's this bag. I get all these bags. There's a pile of them. All those stuff I'm doing. Uh, I got little shorts on, but still, we show all my business. What's that? Oh, that's what I'm off of those. So I got. Bags right here that are part of the clothing. Oh, this is a lot of clothes too. From 99 cent, from the 99 cent sale Sunday. Oh, so this big, huge bag of stuff, clothes from the 99 cent sale Sunday. Huge bag, huge bag. When I said I had a huge haul, I was not lying. Because, uh, yeah, this is 43 minutes already, and we already have the other video, I think, is what, 26 minutes when it started buffering. But, yeah, got this. Is this a dress? This is a dress. Yeah, you got to rack up at night and that's this sale sometime. But, yeah, thought this was a cute little polka dot dress. Just a cute, and be on my posh. Or did I buy this for myself? What brand is this? Oh, yeah, it's no brand. It's Perfect Style by She's. I think I bought this for myself to use in a lookbook and, or wear to church because I thought this little polka dot dress was adorable. So I will. this is for me. Then I bought this for myself as well. This is a Kato size 8. But yeah, she still fit me, even though I done lost all kind of weight. But I think it'll fit me fine. Ninety nine cents, can't beat it. For church, whatever, I can put a little blazer on with it, a little sweat on with it or something. And I know me and my Ralph Lauren by Ralph Lauren, cute little top uh, T-shirt. That's mine. I think it's mine. Yes, size medium. That's mine. Yeah, one dollar day, ninety nine cent day on Sundays. You got to rack up and look at this little cute, comfortable hobo style. I guess I would say because it kind of as you just being comfortable. It's a it's a cute little dress, like a lay around the house dress, or go outside and style it up dress. Whatever you want to do, but I got it like just on my lazy days. I could just throw this on, take a shower, and throw this little dress on, and just be comfortable. Shoot, I might even do videos <laughs> one of them, one of them holidays. I might have this dress on. Shoot, I can go work in that for real. 
that's bad. And then this cute little dress to be on my posh. This dress is adorable. How cute is this? Like, looks like a Brad's made dress, or is this a cute little spring dress? Just adorable. Halter top uh, dress with split down in the bottom. And this is Express. Express stretch. It's been dry clean, but I'm still going to clean it. But I thought this was a cute, adorable dress. So that will be on my posh. Did I say what size it was? Um, Size is six. Size six. So that'll be on my posh. Then we got this. This is reminded me of this reminded me of Freddy Krueger and Halloween soon. So why not? I could be a cute Freddy Krueger. I'm looking like Freddy Krueger right now. I ain't looking cute because <laughs> I'm sick. But hey, it could be a cute Freddy Krueger. Little turtleneck. It just reminded me of Freddy Krueger. But I think it's Lauren by Ralph Lauren. Yeah, Lauren by Ralph Lauren. And it's a size large. So I don't know if I'm. I can wear it as an oversized. Well, it doesn't even really look like a large, though. But this would be cute with some leggings and some knee boots. Some leggings with this and some knee boots. Be very, very cute. Very, very cute. This black and, and red. And then we got... Told y'all I got a lot for y'all today. These... I don't know. This is velvet. What is that? Velvet? Yeah, it's velvet. And it's, these are pants, I guess. If they're knickerbockers, are they knickerbockers or pants? I don't think they're knickerbockers. I think they're pants. Is that what they used to call them? Knickerbockers. These are size eight, and they're Ann Taylor, and they're velvet, and they're cute. They're black, and they'll be on our posh market. And if they don't sell, I'm probably gonna keep them for myself because they are great for the winter time. They are really, 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 really cute in an awesome shape. They would go good with this um, sweater. And I would never be cute together. These uh, pants with this sweater, that would be nice. Yeah, they would go good with that. So hey, if they don't sell, I will be keeping them pants. I'm going to give them a little while to sell. If they don't sell, I'm taking them off. And then I got this jacket, which is so unique. Look at this jacket, y'all. How unique is this? Yeah, it almost looks like a piece of furniture, a piece of, but it's very cute. It has a Velcro, Velcro, like this little thing goes to here. How cute is this jacket for winter time? It's very heavy, so it is really a winter coat, but it's just cute and different. Cute and different. It's just like adorable. I love it. I love this jacket. And if it don't sell, I'm gonna keep it for myself. Cause it's adorable. And it's BB, I think. Yeah. BB. Size medium. So it will fit me. So if this does not sell, which I think is a probably sell as soon as I post this, just because it's BB and it's adorable. Who wouldn't want this cute jacket? You know, some black jeans or something with this. And Lee, can you black jeans, black pants, whatever? Even peach, it's like a peaches, peach color and black and, and white underneath there. I just thought it was cute. You love that, Misha? Yeah, I did too. When I, I said, Oh, I got to get that coat. So I paid the $6.29 for, that, for this one because that was not orange. So yeah, I paid $6.29 for it because it was worth it. I'm like, I can sell that for a good price. And if I don't sell it, I can wear that for $6. I paid. Too, for a cute BB jacket, and it feels so comfortable with this fake fur, or whatever. And the whole interior is that fake fur uh, material, or whatever. So that just feels like a very warm winter coat and stylish. Yeah, it looks vintage, but it's BB, so you know it ain't no vintage, but it's cute to me. And then we got a dress barn uh, coat. Now, this one was. Uh, now, this was red tag. I'm trying to think if I got this one. It was 99 cent red tag. Oh, yeah, it's in my 99 cent bag. So, yeah, I think red tag. Let me see if this other stuff is red tag. 
because I think red tag was like, yeah, red tag. So this was 99 cents. That's why I got it. Dress barn. This is a cute dress barn. Uh, I guess suit. I guess it goes with a suit. I don't know, but I'm like, you can just wear it as a coat, a foul jacket, foul coat. So yeah, I got that for 99 cents as well on 99 cent day. That other jacket I had paid to 639 for because it was just too cute to just leave up. It wasn't gonna stay long. It wasn't gonna last on the shelf long. Somebody else would have snatched it up. I already showed y'all that. Let me get down in here. Then we got some pants. Michael Kors pants for 99 cent. You can't beat that. Can y'all see that? Yeah, Michael Kors. Ninety-nine cent. And then it has the metal. Michael Kors on the back. It's cute. I just got to get some of the little fraying on the edges and stuff. I can get that off her. That's just like some stitching issues. I can get that. It'll probably be, I don't know if I'll put that in the video. It's really not even worth putting in there. But size six pants. And these are, uh, I think they're stretchy. Yeah, they're stretchy right here. The waist doesn't have stretch, but the rest of the pants do. But they're size six. And they're Michael Kors. And they're cute. <laughs> yeah, I did. That's, yes, I did. Got some Michael Kors for 99 cents. People don't want to search like I searched. I searched. Shoot. I don't look through the whole store, but I look through certain sections when I'm really looking for certain things. I'm like, oh, this Michael Kors. 99 cents. Let me snatch it up. This is another dress bar and jacket that I got for 99 cents. I just like that inside. Don't you like that inside that print? The purple, black, and the, uh, I know Misha like it because that purple. And this is a nice jacket. It's just a really nice blazer. I guess is what you call it. Suit jacket, blazer, whatever. And that's the buttons. Like that's the front of it. And you got these buttons down here. Um, there and the buttons are on both sides. So the buttons are just for decoration because they don't button. They got them on both sides like it. And this is a size 22, 24 women. Size 20, that's a satin interior. A satin interior. So that's a 22, 24. That'd be on my posh. And I'm going to try to get these jackets and stuff. Yeah. Hey, if it's red tag, I guess they didn't pay attention to it Michael Kors when they set it out there. I don't know. Because sometimes they do, they do set Michael Kors stuff for satin and up the price. And hang it in a certain section in front of the store where they have up the price on stuff. But I guess they sometimes they don't pay attention. And I love when they don't pay attention to what brand stuff is. If they think it don't, if it looks like a regular pair of pants, they'll just put them on up there like, oh, these are regular dress pants. Even though it said Michael's Horse on the outside and the inside. Then we got Christmassy stuff. A nice little Christmas turtleneck. I said, why not? And Merry Christmas got you the little reindeer on there. So I'm probably going to I'm gonna try to sell this. But if it don't sell, I might wear it for Christmas. Because it's really cute. It's like that it's white with like sparkly. I don't know if y'all can see the sparkle. I'm trying to let y'all see that it's sparkly glitter or whatever on it. But you can see a little bit. But it's cute. And then you got... A Halloween top, which Halloween is too close now, so uh, it's kind of pointless. I may just wear it myself, I guess. Wear it to work or something, because I, I mean, to sell it, it's too late. That's so I wait till next year. I was an extra large. I ain't wearing this. This thing is kind of big. That's a big shirt. And I don't know if it looks no, huge on me. Probably. I might wear it. I don't know. We shall see. And then we got these polo pants. 99 cent. Just some polo khakis. Ralph Lauren polo. Probably vintage. I would think by the style of them that they're vintage. Vintage means what? At least 20 years old. And they're not that long. They're kind of short. So, but they don't say petite. I don't think they say petite. It says prospect pants. 100% cotton. Yeah, they're not petite. Uh, where's the size on these? The size is 30-30, so a 30-30. So these are men's pants. I thought these were women because they was in the women's section. But no, these are men's Ralph Lauren polo pants, size 30-30. So those will be on my posh. Let 
I gotta get everything out of this bag. Let me see. I think I have shown everything in this bag, and I'm gonna verify that digging on through. Uh, yeah, I showed that. Yeah, I'm done with that bag. So that's that bag from 99 cent, 99 cent Sunday. And then we got this bag. So all my shorts. <laughs> Those are shorts. Those are not drawers. This bag, other bag from 99 cent Sunday. And do y'all believe I got two <laughs> other bags in the front? Yeah, I told y'all, huge haul. Huge haul means huge when it comes to me. Now, this top is a Sam Levy, Los Angeles. That's the brand. It just feels real comfortable, so that's why I got that. I got this for myself. My nice and pink um, size, I don't know. Small, but it's one of those floaty shirts, oversized kind of, that'll fit me. Just nice. It feels very comfortable. And then I got this for any Michigan fans that might be on Posh. Got that three sale. Michigan Move Rings t-shirt. People say these team shirts and stuff do pretty good. The college team shirts and stuff. So I'm going to find out. If I got that Michigan Move Rings, which makes me go against my, my motto of not buying anybody but Kentucky Wildcats. But hey, if I can make money off these other teams, why not? Look at this. Looks vintage uh, Tennessee, which it definitely wouldn't buy because, you know, it's a rival to the Kentucky Wildcats in basketball and in football. But, hey, because we're very close, border and state. So, yeah, Tennessee. But it's a cute little varsity-like uh, sweatshirt. Varsity sweater, I mean, because it has buttons and stuff. But I was like, yeah, this would sell because I know there's a lot of Tennessee fans, just like there's a lot of Kentucky fans. And it's football season still, so, yeah, this would be a great time to get this up. Well, basketball season, too, but this is Joe College Sports is the brand, Authentic. I don't know what, why it says Authentic for Joe College Sports. Like, I mean, maybe it's an expensive brand. I know nothing about and This is an extra large. 52% acrylic, 48% cotton. But that's the what the label looks like. So, yeah, this will – yeah, I got a lot. That's why I said huge. This is the second part of the first video, which is 26 minutes to a starting buffer. That's for sale. On my, that's going to be for resale on our posh once I get it posted. And this shirt. I think I got this little shoe shirt for myself just to wear around the house or just to wear. This is like a sheer part. This part with all the stars and stuff. That's kind of, it's not really that sheer, but you can kind of see through it a little bit. Look at that. Doesn't look like pop tart or something. A star shaped pop tart. I just thought it was a neat little shirt to we should wear around the house. So I got that for myself. Then I have another college shirt, college tee, Michigan State. And I ain't that's it. Why not? I said, I'm gonna try this college stuff. They say it's just college stuff sales and stuff with logos or wording or print on them. So I ain't that's it. Why not try to sell? We'll see if it sells. It is sports season, football, basketball, all that coming up. Football was already going on. So, yeah, I'm trying out. Trying out something new. Then I got this vintage sweater for myself. Y'all know me and these. I, I see some cute vintage stuff, and then it goes away so before I buy it. I need to buy the cute vintage shirts when I see them. But at that time, I, I was spending too much, and I was trying to cut back to it went to half off or something like that, or two. it went to 99 cents, and it was gone. But this one I got for 99 cents, and I was so happy about it. Because this is so vintage and just so sparkling and cute. It's, it's, I don't even know what that says. Something Claire. Somebody Claire. Somebody Claire. Yeah. <coughs> and then we got this cute little, is this a rumper? Or a dress? No, this is a dress. But I got it because look at that, that back of it. That's the back of it, this spider web, spider kind of design, kind of reminds you. That's a cute back. I was like, oh, that's cute. That's a cute uh, dress. It's on for 99 cent. Why not? It is J for Justify, and it's a size 1X. Well, um, it don't like no 1X, does it? It says it's a size 1X, but this must be an extra large. In juniors or something, 
Cause ain't no way. That's what that is. And then we got this little dress. I thought this was very tropical. Look at the pineapples and the and all the other fruit on here, and I think it has flamingos or something. No, it's just pink pineapples, purple, blue pineapples, just different color pineapples. This looks very tropical, little dress. And it has a... <coughs> and the bottom part has a ladder. The top part, it's kind of sheer a little bit. But I just thought it was a cute little tropical dress. <coughs> Yeah, that vintage sweater. It's, I thought it was cute too, Misha. And then let me know what we got. What we got? Yeah, this this right here. And how cute is this dress? It's yellow in the front, and then it's like gray in the back. I didn't notice it had some stuff on it. I have to try to get these stained. It looks like they tried to get that. Out. I don't know if that's blood, or chocolate, or what. But it's stained. I'll hopefully it'll come out. I did not notice that. But I just paid 99 cents for it. So if it don't, oh well. But this is a very cute dress. And it's Ann Taylor, size four, which I'm not a size four. This does not look like a size four dress. But I guess it is. I don't think it'll fit me then if it's a size four. So I have to sell it, clean it up real good, get that off first. Sell it. We got a belt that goes with it. It's a very cute dress. And then we got this blue jean denim looking, but it's really cotton, back studio dress that I got from myself because I said it looked comfortable. <coughs> I was like, this looks really comfortable. It'd be great for spring because it's very thin. It's not heavy. So, yeah, it's for spring, spring, summer. Just a cute little denim dress. I could dress that up or dress it down, whichever way I want to. And then we got this dress. Really cute, feels very comfortable. The fabric does, it just feels very comfortable, cool to touch. Um, and it's by Artisan, it's extra large. It's 95% viscose, 5% spandex. And this is a cute uh, travel design, that kind of, kind of travel to print. <coughs> travel print dress, this is a long, cute summer dress. Um, what else we got here? I got a lot of cute dresses for 99 cents, y'all. This one is Graylin, it's a size medium, and it has string, string. Like, I figure out how these strings go, <coughs> have to figure all that out, but yeah, it's like spaghetti strap with string, string. It's another kind of travel kind of print. And this is like blue with that blue with this travel. I thought this dress was adorable. I think I got this one for myself. Because the straps have to be fixed some kind of way. Because there's a strap that's loose. And I don't think they're supposed to. Maybe they're supposed to be loose like it because both of these are tied on the end. So I guess they're supposed to. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But I think they're supposed to be like that. If they're in the same spot, which I think they are, I think you're supposed to like town or something. I'll figure it out. I just thought this dress was adorable. <coughs> I thought that was a beautiful dress. And then we got this. You like that dress, Elizabeth? Yeah, I like it too. And I'm thinking this is vintage, Tommy. I'm not sure for the for 99 cent. Tommy a figure large sweater, or gal print. <coughs> and I just thought it was a cute, and it's like a blue. It's blue. It's like a blue gray. And then you got the maroon and the yellow, canary yellow. And this cute little Tommy a figure sweater, size large, Tommy a figure jeans. So it's definitely vintage. This is Tommy here figure jeans. I did not say then you got the little print on the sleeve as well. And that'll be all my posh. And I think that's everything from this bag. 
So let me get up and get these other two bags, and then we'll be. <coughs> oh, sorry, y'all. Let me get these other two bags, and then we'll be done once we finish those. They're right here. So, yeah, don't go nowhere. Put my little shorts down. Now, one of these bags, I think I showed this stuff in the hall before, but maybe I haven't. I couldn't quite remember, so I got it just in case. <coughs> but this bag, I knew I hadn't shown, to my knowledge. I a Versace perfume tote. Cute gold and black. Oh, it is kind of worn on the edges. I did show this. <clears throat> I don't know. I'll go through this bag really quick then, just in case. I think I did show this bag before in another haul. Now that I'm looking at this stuff. Okay, let's do it real quick, just in case I've already shown it. But yeah, Versace perfume. Um, then we got some black, all black. Converse need to be cleaned off really good, because they ain't real fuzzy for some reason. And then anybody on my posh mark, and these are size... Size, um, verse all stars, size, six men, eight women. <coughs> then we got some Gianni beanie, slide on, like in a magenta, I don't know what you really call this color. It's like red, but it's a lighter red, cranberry, I guess. Size nine and a half. So if those don't sell, I can keep those. Then we got some little bitty Converse. Little kid Converse. Um, little kid, little gray Converse All-Stars. And these are in size nine. Size nine. I don't know if you can see that. Size nine. That'll be on my posh. And we got some maroon. Maroon vans. Maroon and with white so great so off the wall vans. Be on my posh mark. Size seven men, size eight and a half women. And then we got some cats. Some cute little blue cats. I thought were very cute. <coughs> and they were in great condition, so why not? And these are size eight and a half. Then we got one other pair of shoes and candies. I thought these were very, very cute. Wedge, wedge heel and brown. Leather candies, size, and this is the soles. The size on these. Which one do you like, uh, Elizabeth? I'm trying to find the size on these. Oh, I was way down in here. These are size. Oh, eight and a half, eight and a half medium. These cute little candy uh, sandals. Um, and then this is this is what I really like. Oh, it was so cute. This vintage. Look at this. I think I got this for dollar seventy nine. I had to grab that up. I love vintage Liz Claiborne, so I just do it. I know it's great. Make a comeback. <laughs> I got a navy blue vintage list play more purse with the little triangles on it. And then I saw that. I said, I need this. I need that right now. I said, can you hand me that? <laughs> I think it was, yeah, dollar seventy nine. I said, oh, yeah. Cute little vintage uh, list pay more. I don't think she charged me because, see, it does have a strap. But I don't think she charged me three ninety nine because they will charge you three ninety nine for little bitty things like this if they got a strap. I don't know if she did or not. If the receipts are here or not. Because I didn't even know it had a strap. I think she charged me $1.79 because I don't think neither one of us knew it had a strap. 
and it's very lightweight. Shoot, it need to be a dollar seventy nine. But it's cute, ain't it? And it's crossbody. Look how long that strap is. Cute little vintage Liz Claiborne crossbody. I probably could sell that just because the style of it with the triangles and everybody's into vintage, vintage, vintage. And then we got this bag, which I don't know if I've shown in the previous haul or not. So I'm gonna go through this bag quickly too. And these are the Mad West heels. Cute, cute, cute. I think these might be in my size because if I buy Nine West stuff, I don't know if it's going to slip. But I bought them just because the style of them because I thought they were very cute. Little Pito. And for some reason, these are seeming like I've shown these. They seem very familiar. Nine and a half. Yeah, they are my size. So, yeah, I bought them in my size just in case I don't sell them. But they will go on my posh. Yeah, I've shown this because it's got the E.T. Wagner boots. I was going to finish showing it anyway because y'all might not have been here when I showed it in the uh, different haul. And these boots are size 10. These will go on my posh if they don't sell. Then, and they're dark, dark chocolate brown. They'll sell. I will be keeping them boots. And then these Kohan. Yeah, because I remember showing these because the stitching. But I'm showing them again. Kohan uh, clogs. And then these. Um, little cute little shoes that are in my size so if I don't sell them I'm keeping them Jessica Simpson like half gladiator style shoes not in half so I'm putting them on my posh if I don't sell like I said I'm keeping them and then I finally finished that's everything y'all and I thank y'all for hanging in me there with me for an hour and 12 minutes all those that lasted Thumbs up the video. Thumbs up the video. Make sure you subscribe. My voice is about gone. I'm going to take my cough medicine and I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> but I thank y'all for watching me and putting up with my crazy voice because I know people are tired of hearing this squeaky, crazy voice. But it's getting better. And I hope y'all thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. I hope y'all subscribe if you haven't subscribed because I do hauls. I'm going to do more stuff like I used to. That's why it's called Lala Be So random. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you. Because I do, do DIYs. But right lately, I've just been doing thrift tiles and thrift with me's and stuff like that because I'm really into that. But I'm going to get more energy and start doing DIYs. And if and that's my Poshmark store, which is at La La B 42. La La, the letter B 42 is my Poshmark closet. Make sure you check it out. I'm going to be putting it says not for sale stuff right now because I put it in vacation mode, but I'm going to change that uh, probably now. So it'll go back. It'll show that stuff is for sale, but I'm not going to add all this tonight. Not tonight. This stuff will be added partly tomorrow, probably all through the rest of this week. All this stuff will be added, but not tonight because I'm still trying to rest up and get better from this bronchitis. But I thank y'all for watching. I'm glad y'all enjoyed the haul. And I, I hope you share the video, your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, in, uh, your YouTube playlist, Instagram, your whatever, whatever social media you have with your auntie, cousin, mama, little brother, little sister, nephew, nieces, whoever, with whoever you got around you. Share, share, share. Let's get the word out because I do, like I said, DIYs. I need to start doing more of those. I used to do stuff like that all the time. Um, decorating and to like changing room decoration, which I'm going to do that one of those next month, probably December, not November, but December because I want to change my curtains. I do have a like one of my first videos was when I redid my this room, my bedroom. So I should go back and see that. But yeah, I'm gonna change this gray curtain. I want like an emerald green design because I had thrifted a whole sheet set from the Goodwill that has like green flowers. I show that in one of my hauls, brand new sheet set. So I was like, okay, I want like an emerald green comforter, some emerald green pillows, emerald green um, curtain. So I'm gonna, yeah, it's gonna be green. Moving away from the purple and lavender. Well, I do have a purple chase down there, but I can put green pillows on it. But it's gonna be cute when I, I'm gonna try to do that. I'm gonna do that in December when I get back from Jamaica. Thank you, uh, Misha. I hope you feel better soon too. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you. I'm going to give me some rest. Y'all get y'all some rest, too. Hopefully, y'all stay fine in this weather. Y'all okay? And I thank y'all for hanging in there with me today. And I know everybody else will check it out later. They probably were tired of the buffering in the previous one. It was like 11 people in here. Like I said, they just kept buffering, buffering. Just silly YouTube. But I thank y'all for hanging in there. And I don't know if I'm going to thrift tomorrow. Probably not. But I'll think of something this week. <laughs>
to do. Maybe Monday I'll do some Tuesday. I don't know what day. Whenever I'm feeling like a hundred, close to a hundred. Okay, I'll eighty five percent. Whatever. When I'm close to all the way better and my voice is better. But I thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. I love y'all, Team Random. Be blessed and be a blessing, and do what you do. And I'm I also do cooking videos and all that other stuff. Y'all look through my channel. I do travel vlogs. I do a lot of stuff. But I thank y'all, and I'll see y'all. Y'all have a blessed night and have a blessed morning tomorrow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye.